photosynthesis. All living things must eat. They must eat food to live. Plants are living things. How do you think a plant eats? Can I feed a plant like this? I don't think a plant could eat like that. People and other animals must eat food. Birds must eat food. Reptiles gotta have food. And fish also must eat. Eat something. And plants. Plants are living things and must have food. How do people eat food? I think most people eat food through their mouth. How do you think a plant eats food? Through its mouth? Maybe. If the plant's a Venus flytrap. If the plant is not a Venus flytrap, then it gets its food through a process called photosynthesis. That's a big word. Say it with me. Photo. Sin. The. Sis. Say it with me a little faster. Photo. Synthesis. Now say it faster and all together. Photosynthesis. Excellent! I knew you could say it. Photosynthesis is the process that enable green plants, algae, and some bacteria to make their own food. Wait, hold the phone. Did I say make their own food? Yes, I meant what I said. Trees, plants, shrubs, grass, algae. Ew, what's algae? These organisms make their own food. And the way they do it is amazing. And it's called photosynthesis. People cannot magically make their own food, right? It takes shopping and time and preparation. It takes work. I'm hungry just thinking about it. But watch how plants do it. The word photosynthesis comes from two words. Photo, which means light, and synthesis, which means to make. Plants use light to manufacture their food, which gives the plant energy. What's the best source of light? Yup, you're right. It's the sun. Let's explore the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis occurs in the leaves of trees and plants, in microscopic structures of the leaves called chloroplasts, which contain chemical molecules of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the element that gives leaves its green color. Three elements are required for a plant to perform photosynthesis. Number one, carbon dioxide is required. Carbon dioxide is a gas in the air. All animals expel carbon dioxide when they breathe out. Plants like that. Plants need carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is absorbed into the leaves of the plant. Number two, plants need water. All living things need water. You need water just like plants. The water in the soil is absorbed into the roots of the plant and travels up into the leaves of the plant. What do you think number three is? What is the third thing that plants need? Hmm. We mentioned it before. Remember what photo means in photosynthesis? If you said light, you would be right. Light energy is absorbed into the leaves of the plant. And what is the best source of light? You got it, the sun. Some plants can be grown indoors. They still need light energy. It takes a special lamp to produce the right kind of light that plants need to perform photosynthesis. Now that you know the three things necessary, let's see how they all work together. Water, in the form of moisture, reaches the leaves of trees and plants through the root system. Carbon dioxide is also being absorbed into the leaves and into the chloroplasts. Light energy falls upon the leaves and is absorbed by the chlorophyll. And when all the ingredients come together, BAM! The chemical reaction known as photosynthesis has just occurred and the plant has made its own food. Food in the form of glucose, which is a type of sugar. Plants and trees use these sugars to grow and make flowers and fruit and vegetables. The things we need to live. Another byproduct of photosynthesis is oxygen. Plants give off oxygen during photosynthesis and we need to breathe oxygen. Look how neat this is. We, people and animals, breathe out carbon dioxide, which plants need to grow. And plants give off oxygen, which we need to grow. What a beautiful relationship. All living things on earth rely on plants and trees and grasses of all kinds all over the world. 
we rely on the process of photosynthesis so they can be healthy and continue to grow. Let's protect our forests. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.